through three, four. There's an island of I can't have another no. You know, this song was uh, kind of funny. I was living in a rehearsal space in Toronto and uh, I was in a, a relationship and I kind of got into this train of thought where I said, um, when, when you're willingly stuck with somebody, it's like you're, you have this adage, it's like, you know, you're on a desert island uh, with so and so and you can't get off, you know, and it, it, it seems like a vacation song almost, but uh, uh, I wrote it with my uh, good friend Ryan Chambers, uh, and frequent collaborator. And uh, it, was, it was a funny one, it just sort of fell out in the day, and it was uh, definitely how I was feeling in my life. Yeah, the, the, the lyrics came from a uh, uh, part of my life where I, I was in a relationship where I felt like I was stuck. And uh, it was almost like this, um, this moment I said, well, I'm stuck here, I might as well try to enjoy it. And it was almost this, this half-hearted, you know, I'll give up, I guess. Maybe this is, I'm just supposed to be like this. And um, the whole song was trying to disseminate that idea. I suppose the bridge, um, that little section there where it says, it's a rude awakening, the tide's coming in. Because to, to me, yeah, at least uh, I think pretty visually about this stuff. And I'd say like, oh, the tide's coming in to wash away and drown us both on the island because we're not paying attention to, you know, how we're treating each other. I mean, I, I don't really think about response that much. I just do it for myself. So, you know, if people like it, they, they like it. And uh, to me, it's just I, I make music because I need to. Desert Island Lover, I just catch your words with you.